This is Jacob Butler with Bloom Gardens. I wanted to give an update on our first bale garden. Uh, the one at our community garden plot is not doing very well, but as you can see, this one is doing quite well. Uh, we've got here in the front, we've got some uh, hot peppers, some different jalapenos and habaneros, uh, corn, we've got my sugar uh, dwarf peas. Uh, this corn is only about a month, maybe five weeks old, uh, and it's doing phenomenal in these bales. Uh, here we've got, uh, these are royal burgundy bush beans, and they're doing really well. As you can see, I've got quite a few beans on all the plants. Some good sized ones too. Uh, over here we have pinto beans, and they're doing quite well, quite well. Uh, here we have red noodle beans. I don't know if you can see in the video, but these these noodle beans are really impressive. Pretty cool looking, and they grow phenomenally. Uh, over here on uh, the other side of this corn, we've got uh, what is this? Broccoli, I believe. Doing pretty well. Not making any heads yet, but as you can see, I've already got corn starting five weeks old. Planted those the first week of June. Uh, and we've also got pinto, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, black eyed peas here planted in with the corn. Uh, here we've got some Brussels sprouts, I believe. They're doing all right. Uh, had a bunch of butter crunch lettuce here that we've harvested already. Uh, that's why it looks kind of empty. And this bale here, what I planted in it, kind of didn't really take out off very good but as you can see this volunteer pumpkin vine is doing spectacular and get over here so you can see some of the pumpkins uh, let's see there's one two three four oh hold on a sec five Six. There's one over there. Makes seven. That? You can see it through there. And then the big one is right here. <coughs> Eight. And then this is a volunteer vine that came up in the hay bales. If I'd used straw, I wouldn't have got it. You can see this whole row here is kale, which is just healthy. One of the healthiest plants I've ever seen. We've got uh, all along this side here is bok choy. And then down in the center here, I grew some radishes. These are German giant radish. You can see them there. Uh, this is, both of these bales, or rows are mixed lettuce that I'd got, just a mixed lettuce seed pack. I did, however, plant some bell peppers in with them, but the uh, lettuce kind of overtook it. I've got a couple of them are doing still good. But these are one of my favorites right here. It's a really cool looking lettuce. But you can see my arm how big these plants are. They're fantastic. And more of the broccoli and corn. Let's go over here to our kiddie pools. These plants, these were planted maybe a month ago, after the corn was. As you can see, I've already got peppers growing here. These are a purple pepper. Uh, and then I've got, these are a husky cherry red tomato. Look how sturdy that plant is. It's just ridiculous. Uh, these are some corn and some, uh, I can't remember what type of tomatoes that I planted in there. Uh, these are... The Cherokee purple tomatoes. And these ones here are the Black Prince tomatoes. And I did these, the three bigger tomato plants and the bell pepper at the same time. Uh, looks like my cucumbers died. Uh, this is all cilantro. And the parsley didn't really take off. This corn over here is a control done in just mulch rows. 
I've uh, I've not added any uh, fertilizers or pesticides or anything to any of the garden. This like, just look at that again. No fertilizers or pesticides at all. As organic as they can possibly be. This is a uh, cantaloupe that I planted maybe about a month ago, around the same time I did the other other uh, uh, buckets. And it was uh, just the first two starts starter leaves, and now it's grown into this big thing. Now this is my basil, which has done really well. Some onions. Like I said, I planted this corn at the same time that I planted that corn. So you can see the difference between planting in just mulch rows and using the hay. Everything that I read or watched said do, do corn in hay bales or in straw bales because it doesn't do well. But as you can see, it does. I don't know if that's because I planted beans in with the corn. As you can see, they're growing up out of the same hole. Uh, let's see if I can see it better. Yeah, there you go. There's one coming out of it. So I don't know if maybe that is helping nitrogen get to the corn or what, but corn does definitely do well in hay bales. I don't know about straw, but works in hay. I'll give you more updates later. Thanks.